Hello my lovely sewing friends, my name is Catherine and you are very welcome to join me today on my YouTube channel Serenity Sews and a huge thank you to those of you who are coming back and if you are new to watching me then you're very very welcome and I hope that you'll find something that interests you along the way um, and join us on the love that we have of sewing and dressmaking. I'm here today a little bit later than I planned. Unfortunately, I've had a very poorly husband. He's been in hospital, he's now home, um, but um, I've got quite a few videos that are uh, needing to be made and hopefully I'll catch up over this next week or so so you may have um, a, a cluster of new videos from me but today I want to talk to you about my um, passion at the moment with a company that makes fabric and also sewing patterns called Atelier Jupe uh, many of you will have heard of them. Um, they are a lovely uh, couple of ladies called Eva and Petra. They're Belgian based um, and they make superb patterns, I feel. Um, very understated style. And um, one thing that they do as well as this is they combine a a series of patterns with a, a collection of fabrics and I have got um, one of their fabrics that I haven't made up yet so I can't quite make my mind up what that's going to be but they are beautiful and as I said quite understated but very definitely uh, my style. So I want to share with you this pattern and um, this is called the Liv L-I-V blouse and I have um, made this up in this beautiful viscose um, there is a more substantial weight than some viscoses so I think you can always tell on the quality of fabric um, suppliers when the viscose doesn't slide and slip around like some do now this as you can see is a lovely coral colour which is a colour that I really like. Um, it's very bright and might not be for some people but I, I feel that this uh, really lifts, lifts me and uh, let's face it we all need that don't we? And it has on it in black and white these beautiful what I call savannah uh, animals so you've got zebras, you've got leopards, you've got giraffes, a few leaves and even a toucan. Um, so a very <laughs> different style for me because you know I'm all about the floral. Um, but this was uh, the colour really that called out to me so had to have it. So I want to talk to you about this pattern and as you can see the front has a very soft V neckline, it has this gorgeous fluted frill around it just to the front not to the back, quite um, slim fitting sleeves which end in an elastic cuff. The back as you can see has a soft gather along the yoke um, and so it's quite a nice fit easy to wear and on me you can see that but it's um, around about the high hip level um, and it's just a straight fit so Atelier Jupe patterns um, I have now five I think five of their patterns um, that is the front page as you can see I think that one looks like it might be in a georgette of some kind but you do need something that's flowy um, and drapey so I would recommend viscose I'd recommend um, something probably lightweight cotton like a lawn or a voile 
um, and I'd certainly recommend something that's a bit slippery uh, in terms of how it might drape. I think you need that for this frill. If you were just going to make it without the frill then I think you could get away with the cotton, a poplin, um, even something like a, um, I wouldn't say a denim but a chambray, you could use that. You could even use something like embroidery on glaze, um, maybe a double gauze, but I think you'd have to be careful around this neckline. But I just want to give you my thoughts really on this. So I find that the French and generally European uh, countries have a much better fit for me on some of the indie patterns. Now I'm five foot, Four used to be probably about five three now um, so I've shrunk a little but I do find that um, particularly French and probably Belgian do have a, um, a base block that might be for women um, similar to my height um, I know some of the Scandinavian uh, pattern companies um, would perhaps be for five foot six and upwards um, but generally I find that this block fits me well um, their pattern sizes range from a one sec a 34 inch um, sorry, that's not inch. Um, these are uh, this is European size, 34 inch up to a 52, or UK size six right up to a 24. So I think that's a pretty inclusive range of sizes. They give um, they give back length, bust length, waist and hip and sleeve length size ranges, um, and they put in quite a useful little measurement chart there and also you can see at the bottom is the finish measurement chart. Now I always like to look at the finish measurement chart because they offer um, information about how much ease is in the garment and that's really important to know that. Now I had this pattern printed on uh, AO and there were two pages um, so that's not too onerous and um, I wouldn't have minded actually um, printing this out as an A4 but um, I was having some others done so that was why I included that. Um, now one thing that I did adjust on this pattern is um, I did a bicep adjustment and that's something I often do on a straight sleeve. So. Uh, patterns I've done that for would be so over it because um, I find that their sleeve is quite narrow. Um, Tilly and the buttons I've never done it for. Um, so yeah, I one of the things I do is I measure that pattern piece first of all and then I do a bicep adjustment because I am thick of the arm and I don't like it to be that tight that I can feel it all the time. So if you'd like me to show you how to do a bicep adjustment, that's something I can I can do in future. And the other thing I might do on my next one is just lengthen the top slightly um, because I like my tops just to come slightly lower and over my, um, well, my grandmother's tom now, I suppose. But um, that's just my preference. Um, it is a nice length, it's what I call high hip. Um, the other thing that I changed from the pattern was this has you cut out one yoke for the back. However, I like uh, a double yoke, so I did that because it's my preference, had enough fabric and it was very easy to do in terms of um, just add it into the process. The other thing I would say is the instructions come as part of, now I think it's three other languages as well as English. So go through it first so that you only print off 
the language that you want. Otherwise, you'll have, I think, German, French and English. It might even be another one. I'm not quite sure. Um, so you can see there it says English and then that means that I'm only printing off eight pages, which um, all of us need to save on the cartridges, but also paper. So that's important. The instructions are, by and large, I think, um, easy to follow. Um, there are pictures. One second. You can see pictures with word explanations. I would say, before you do anything, if you're using something like a viscose, make sure that you stay stitch this neckline because it would be so easy to uh, stretch that out and then um, you'd have difficulty making your frill fit um, and it wouldn't sit right on the neck either so do that before you start anything else and make sure that you stay stitch your neckline now I'm, i have to say this is just personal preference and i am going to do a video very soon on uh, my a to z of sewing skills and the letter we're at is F so it's F for facings um, but this one has you do a bias finish on the neckline um, I, I have to say that I prefer a proper facing to this so if I make it again I will make my own pattern for the facing um, it just I feel gives a cleaner finish to it but I, I did the bias finish I made it as the pattern asked me to and I think it looks fine um, but that is my own personal preference um, although this I think is a relatively easy make I think you need to have a little bit of um, experience under your belt because you've got a dart to do you have the edge stitching on these very lovely little frills around the neck and you have the finish for the bias trim which you make yourself out of the fabric so you do need to have a little bit of uh, experience in that respect however um, it's not beyond the wit i think of most uh, beginner so as to um, to have the skills to make this top and I know that on the Atelier Jupe website they have got some video tutorials so you might want to look at those to see if what you're making there is some additional information there for you. So overall um, I love this blouse um, I've worn it already quite a few times I will make it again um, I am going to try and make it in a different fabric base and um, as far as I'm concerned it's a hit. Uh, I'm going to say goodbye now and I'll see you shortly with some of my other plans what I'm hoping to make this month. Also my A to Z in sewing skills and um, I've got a box that I'm going to on open for you um, believe it or not I've had this box now for over a week and I haven't even opened it because I want to do it straight onto camera so um, how good am I but bye for now my lovely sewing friends see you soon please leave me comments give me a thumbs up and take care and enjoy your sewing bye